so many options. <laughs> senior at Lincoln High School. You and this poem is titled, The Title Has Yet to Come. <laughs> you. You are different from the person you were two seconds ago. Minuscule amounts, unnoticeable, building up into an entirely new being. But when change is the only constant, I wonder sometimes how we're supposed to establish ourselves. A constant existential crisis, a mental influx, and infinite shades of gray. Yet we always think we know who we are. Who am I? Who am I? I am a walking contradiction. My outside does not match what it houses, and out of 37 trillion cells, they could not make up their mind. <laughs> Too girly to be considered tough, not girly enough to care. The pink on my dress receives tears and stains while climbing to the top of a pine tree, and hours of running through a park matches the ever-present runs in my tights. I beg my mother for a $300 Kate Spade purse, the leather as smooth as the pickup lines I've yet to hear from my friends, to hold my Sharpies, animal crackers, lipsticks, and rope. But all I can think of is how it matches my favorite dress. <laughs> Figuring out who we are is vital, a foundation to build up our very existence, but how can we build that when we are constantly changing? You know, I've been told I have an old soul. Well, the soul is pretty active for its age because I am an 80-year-old woman. <laughs> Crochet needles, cardigans, and scented candles scatter my ever-messy room. The best nights include Netflix, bubble baths, and bed by 9 p.m. But sometimes, seeing the sunrise after a long night out is the best way to start a morning, and favorite bands include No One Born Before 1985. I am a walking contradiction. My cells may not have been able to make up their mind, but that's okay. I like it like that. I am different from the person I was four years ago is different from the person I will be tomorrow. But I will still be Emma, a confused, awkward girl who is over enthused about everything and always hopelessly in love with someone. Thank you.